Hello everyone and welcome to Egg and Hunters TV with me, Curtis Perkins. Um, today I'm going to be showing you my two favourite rifles at the moment. Um, they're both made by Virock. Um, this review is mainly on the HW97 Silverline, um, but I have swapped the stocks over and you guys are in for a bit of a surprise. I've basically mixed up my two favourite rifles and turned her into a HFT rifle because I'm into HFT at Nelson Field Target Club. Um, but yeah, let's get cracking. I'm going to show you um, my hunting rifle first and then I'm going to save the best for last. So, here we go. I haven't got a scope on this yet, but I am going to be buying a Hawk AMAX SR6 for it. This is the HW97 KT Blackline. It's a synthetic stocked thumb hole version of the Virac HW97. It's in .177 caliber. And uh, I gotta say, guys, this gun, it really, really is nice. It shoulders beautifully. It's uh, really nice. What I must admit, with a synthetic stock, you definitely feel a vibration difference compared to a wooden stock. There's a lot more vibration with this rifle than it was before when it was in the wooden stock. Now what most of you are going to be asking and thinking is, I've seen on the internet that the stocks are hollow, I've seen on the internet that the stocks are solid. Which is it? I'm going to tell you. Um, basically, what this gun is, is hollow, hollow and solid. Basically, it's, it's made hollow and solid throughout the stock so that it can reduce weight for the shooter and so that there is uh, basically it's cheaper to make because a completely solid synthetic stock like this made out of ABS, I think this is, it would cost you a bomb and that's a lot of, a lot of money that goes into synthetic stocks, believe it or not. Um, this is fully ambidextrous, the stock, for left and right handed shooters. Um, it's got some nice moulding across the stock, a stipply effect to it, it's not as grippy as checkering on a wooden stock, but it sure does the job and it is very nice and grippy because I can't move my fingers at all there by doing that, so it is pretty good. Um, it's got the record trigger, two stage adjustable, the best trigger you'll find on any air rifle period. Um, spring powered air rifle that is. The only one that comes close is the CD trigger unit on the TX200 but this is much better in my experience and my opinion so uh, that's the w I'd say that's the one to go for. It's got a nice defined cheek piece across the side of the stock. It's got like a rubbery plasticky butt pad. I just think it's more of a rubber than a plastic but some, some of them do come plastic. It says Virac on the, on the butt plate it's got stippling on the hand, pistol grip on both sides, the adjustable screw underneath there, and uh, what can I say, how hollow is it? It's not that hollow, it is pretty thick. It comes in around that thick, roughly, which is pretty thick, um, so it won't crack easily unless you literally hit it with a hammer. This stock is solid. Um, there's no sharp seams or lines on it. It works very, very well and it fits really snugly into the hand. Only option being is if you're right handed, safety. You've got to go over the top to get to the safety because there's no way you can get your thumb around there. But for left handers, that's perfect. Because if a safety's on that side, you can just go just like that if you're left handed. So that's perfect gun for left handers. And the same goes for the wooden stock version if you want the wooden stock. Um, but that works really great. This is my hunting rifle in .177 calibre. And uh, I love this gun to bits. Um, reason being I swapped the stock over is this is more of a hunting stock. You can get banged about, you can get scratched and you're not going to cry about it. And it's certainly more grippy than a non-checkered wood stock. Um, and you get a much better balance with a thumb hole stock so kills are more humane which is a, another really great 
feature. So if you've got more balance, you can shoot straighter. Kills are more humane. And that is the reason why I've done that with this hunting rifle. So that's the HW97KT black line. This was a silver line when I bought it. Now I'm going to show you the other surprise. Just bear with me. I have to get it out of the case. This is the most beautiful rifle I own. And this gun will not be used for hunting as this is a HFT rifle and target rifle only. Um, here you go guys. HW97 Sporter with a blue laminate stock with a nickel plated action. Some people say it's stainless, it isn't, it's nickel plated, it will rust, so you do need to oil it. Um, now that that, out, that all that is out of the way, we can get to the features. So if I bring the rifle closer, to see there, it's very, very beautiful. It comes with a nice blued silencer and lever catch. And the lever underneath here, that's also silver as well. Uh, nickel plated, which is really good. Needs a bit of grease on the button at the end of it to stop the print. Um, this rifle has just been bought today and taken out the stock. So this is also a .177 calibre. She's wearing a Hawk Digi Night Eye SR6 side focus with a sports match one piece mount. And I've got to say this this rifle is beautiful. It's probably my favourite rifle I own and it's really heavy actually because of the laminate stock really really nice and I love this rifle to pieces um, I haven't quite seen a blue laminate and a silver action in the stock yet together so this is the first time I've actually seen one in person and it's beautiful so I swapped the stocks over like I said and this is the result and I'm glad I've done it because uh, this is more of a HFT stock than a synthetic one in my opinion, it's much nicer. Um, but yeah, guys, um, that's my short review on the HW97 KT black line and the HW97 blue laminate with the silver line action. Um, both calibers are 177. This is my field target and HFT rifle, which I'll be using at Nelson Field Target Club. And the other one's my uh, hunting rifle. And I'm just going to start using heavier pellets in the hunting rifle for barns and stuff. So the stopping power is a bit better so it doesn't quite penetrate and do the damage that the normal 177 will. So I was thinking about starting using Bisley Magnums. But first of all I'm going to test the accuracy on that. Um, hunting videos, as far as hunting video goes, hopefully I'll be able to set up camera and do some pigeon shooting soon. Um, crows, magpies, hopefully rabbits. Um, don't hold, build your hopes up on the rabbits and um, there's not many around. And I'm leaving them breed for the year. Um, so no youngsters or no adults or f uh, bucks or does will be shot. Um, because they need to breed. And it's unfair to take them without giving them a fair chance. Um, but as again, this rifle comes with the record unit, silver. And I love this rifle. It is so, so beautiful. And so smooth. Just look at that. It's stunning. Some people might dislike the blue silencer. I think it goes quite nicely with the scope. And the safety is also blued as well. If I just swap the sides over. As I said guys, this is nickel plated, not stainless steel. It's a stainless steel look. If you email Virac, they will tell you that for confirmation too. It is a stainless steel lock. It's nickel plated. It's done by electro plating, which is a current put onto liquid nickel, which plates the metal. That's it's a completely different process of bluing, but it does a really nice smooth finish, and there's no nicks and marks anywhere in it. It's really smooth. It's, it's just as smooth as bluing, guys, and that's honest. Um, scratch is pretty easy, I should imagine, because it's a thin coat. Um, but as I said, this isn't a hunting rifle. This is a HFT and target rifle, so it shouldn't be getting too many scratches, um, luckily. But yeah guys, um, that's just my short review of the HW97 
KT Blackline and the HW97 K Blue Laminate and Silver Action. So thanks for watching, comment, thumbs up and subscribe and tell all your friends about Egan Hunters TV. If you'd like to see some Virox in action, I highly recommend you look at Vermin Hunters TV with Cy Pittaway and Davey Thomas. Um, great guys, really nice. They'll give you any information you need and um, they've, they're, they're really good shots. Um, Davey or Cy can tell you how to sight in your rifle if you're stuck. They can show you the ins and outs of these rifles and if you want to see a tuned rifle in action, they're the guys to watch because they can literally pinpoint accuracy every shot, one hole every shot with these rifles with them too. I haven't got these videos on my channel at the moment because I need to practice a bit more with these rifles. I can get one hole groups but the camera tangles me up and I start getting accuracy and I start to get impatient so I need to practice on camera a fair bit before I start uploading accuracy videos. Um, because uh, it, it doesn't make the guns look better, it doesn't do them justice. So until I'm 100% spot on, the accuracy reviews are going to die down a bit because it's unfair to the rifles. Um, but if you want to see the accuracy, check out Cy Pittaway and Davy Thomas's videos. Um, they do some really great reviews. Um, and they also show the Sandwell Field Sport tunes by Tony Wall at um, Sandwell Field Sports. And he's one fantastic guy. So if you want your rifle tuned, he's the one to go for. Also Welsh Willie, as I'm Welsh, um, I might get this tuned by him, but then again I might get it tuned by Sandwell Field Sports, I'm in a bit of a pickle between the two. Um, tuning these rifles is inadequate, it doesn't need to be done because they're already polished in the factory, so they are smooth enough to shoot when you go take them out the box, perfectly fine. But for HFT purposes and field target, a little bit of extra smoothness and a little bit of power drop really does help so I'd like this drop to about 10 foot pounds for HFT and field target which will make the rifle a little bit smoother as uh, you will know H uh, 177 has a harder spring than the 22 so they do need to be dropped a little bit because they're harder to cock and they also got a harder firing cycle because the springs are stronger to push a smaller pellet out um, yeah guys thanks for watching comment thumbs up and subscribe and don't forget check out Vermin Hunters TV 